What's going on, Mrs. Williams? I am setting up for our family meeting here in Big Bear. Big Bear? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we decided to escape the triple digit heat and start making our way up to Yosemite so we can do some altitude training before we get up there. Excellent. Yeah. So we're on week what now? Week three of training. Month, oh no, uh, for oh, the... Uh, oh, family meeting, month three. Yes, yeah. month three. Week nine. And so we've been training for this excursion. Yes. In, in uh, Yosemite. Yeah, we're going so let's back... let's talk about that. Yeah, we're going backpacking in Yosemite. Uh, we start on the 31st and we'll be done by the 6th. And it's like 57 miles, depending on which source you read. And it's called the Grand Canyon of the Tuolumne. Yeah. Yeah. And so we're doing that with K-Bong. And then to lead up to that, so we've been doing like four days on, two days off, hiking with full gear up to the rocks and back at the ranch, which is like five miles a day. Yeah. How and much does full gear weigh? About almost 30 pounds. Yeah. Um, so we've been doing that. And then we took a couple of days off here so this is our second day in big bear getting acclimated i feel like i just can't stop napping which is great because like we're getting this part out of the way so i'll be like cruising by the time we get to stuff but so two days off here and then tomorrow we drive up to mammoth lakes is yeah. that right and then we've got a hike on tuesday hike on thursday days off on monday wednesday friday and then we do a hike in ansel adams wilderness there's a little short guy on saturday and mm -hmm. then we have our day off on sunday to go get into the park and then we start monday morning Excellent. Yeah. So we should be ready to roll, huh? I think so. I've never felt more ready for anything in my life, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, and the weather <laughs> forecast looks really good. Yeah. Uh, the, only, the only concern is just uh, most of California is on fire. There's now over 600 active fires in California. That's what I read this morning. Unbelievable. Yeah. So we're, we're fine here in Big Bear. Um, we've been keeping an eye on Yosemite. There's a Barry uses AccuWeather. I found something yesterday called airnow.gov that gives like recommendations and uh, air quality forecast. Um, and then the Yosemite Conservancy has a couple different webcams from around the park so we can just kind of see like what it looks like versus what's reported. Because there are two active fires in Yosemite. Yeah, they're pretty small. But, yeah, but and not. they've been going on for a while and there's not a lot of urgency. A lot of them are actually cordoned off by stone and stuff like yeah, that. So it's all just like smoldery stuff. Not that big of a deal, but uh, Mona mm -hmm. Lake is a huge fire. Yeah. So, but that's east of us. Yeah. Or will be east of us in Yosemite, so. We're gonna have to go past there on the way up there, though. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, it's northeast of it, I think. Oh. Yeah. Oh well, that's great. Yeah, we'll be alright. Okay. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. All right. Well, have a good day. Uh, have a good uh, family meeting. Okay. And enjoy the view. I will. Welcome to Hiking My Feelings TV. Welcome to week nine of Hiking My Feelings, Blaze Your Own Trail to Self Love. Um, this week we are talking about visualizing and now it's month three, so we're talking about integration. Um, and so with the uh, worksheets, I don't know if anybody saw this this morning, but I had posted a note. Um, we had on the program guide for this week to do a seminar with Hannah Betts, who is my friend that was on the virtual campfire. She was one of my skydiving coaches and she's a world champion skydiver. Um, she and I were going to have a conversation um, about visualizing and the difference between daydreaming and planning. And um, actually, let me just make sure we record. Okay, good. Um, so we were going to have uh, Hannah on to talk about the difference between daydreaming, planning and visualizing. Um, and she is on a really cool project right now called the Highlight Skydiving Team. And it's a bunch of women um, that are going around the country, jumping out of airplanes with these humongous parachutes that say vote on them. And these really cool flags that talk about um, women earning the right to vote 100 years ago. So they did a demonstration jump in Nashville last week. Um, they've got some more coming up this week in New York and other um, areas in the East Coast. So we are going to have her join us for the last family meeting. So as you guys are exiting the program, um, you can have a real clear picture on what it looks like um, 
to or what the difference is between those three and just like a big heaping dose of inspiration because seriously every time I spend any time with Hannah I walk out of there feeling like superwoman so I figured that's a nice way to end the program um and on that note it's kind of wild that we only have a few of these left so well good morning here we are uh just south of uh Yosemite it's where we slept last night got the Sierra mountain range over there uh, listening to the cows this morning. It's all a big like cow pasture or whatnot. I don't know if you can see, but there's a hot spring right over there. So we're gonna do a uh, kind of a warm up hike for this Yosemite trip, uh, Convict Lake. And uh, quite a few other lakes. There's like uh, four or five lakes, uh, almost 13 miles, almost 4,000 feet of elevation gain. So it's a bit of a bit of a big one. Um, I'm really glad that we spent some time over at Big Bear because we were at 7,500 feet, give or take, just sitting around doing nothing. So um, today we're gonna do some hiking. We're gonna go with some day packs, not our big full packs uh, for today. We just want to travel light. Uh, because we do have uh, a lot of fires going on. It is kind of smoky and um, it's going to be, you know, higher altitude. So and it is a long hike. So we want to get down before potentially maybe some afternoon thunderstorms. We haven't really seen any, but uh, a few sprinkles here and there. But we want to travel light today and just kind of see what's going on and move our bodies a bit. But it is absolutely gorgeous out and we are ready to go. So let's do this. What do you think about that? It's beautiful. Not bad, huh? Not bad at all. Not as beautiful as you. Hey, thanks, man. <laughs> what do you think so far? I mean, my ass kicked, but this is really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> my spirits aren't dampened. I'm just a little slower than I'm used to being. That's all right. Yeah. We're at a higher altitude than usual. Yep. We're not at the range no more. No, uh, we are sure not. No flatlanders here. <laughs>
So that's uh, Mildred Lake, and we're on our way up to Dorothy Lake, which is apparently much bigger. And at some point, we're going to be over 10 grand. We're at 9,800 feet or so. Anything over 10 grand, you start to get hypoxic, oxygen deprivation. So uh, this is quite the hike. <laughs> So I thought it was Lake Dorothy. At least that's what it says on the map. Yeah. Sign says Lake Genevieve, but. Oh, that's a, the, you can hike to Lake Genevieve. It's on the other side over there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which way are we so going? We're going this way. All right. Yeah. You're gonna, you wanna skip that lake? Yeah, I'm gonna skip that one. Okay, let's go to the uh, Dorothy then. Yeah. Cause it's like. Let's it's... go with this Wizard of Oz theme, you know, Ruby, Kansas. <laughs> Lake Dorothy. Yeah, I like that. We'll listen to some Toto on the way down. Yeah, I don't. I ain't got time for Genevieve today. <laughs> okay. Well, it's right. It's literally right there. Yeah. So we can walk right by it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's walk. Okay. So here we are. Uh, we finally made it to Lake Dorothy. Well over ten grand. Yep. Ten three. Ten thousand three hundred feet. And it is absolutely amazing out here. Water so blue. What do you think? This is insane. That's nice, huh? It's so pretty. So how many people have we seen on this trail today? Uh, one. <laughs> one. Well, we saw some people that were probably at the campground just doing a little morning walk, but yeah. um, up here, like we haven't seen anybody since that older guy. Yeah. And he was turning around. Yeah, so. he was turning around. So we're like literally the only people up here. This is so cool. So we were going to go to Bighorn Lake. Yeah. But it's only like right up there somewhere but there's like no trail none and it's like straight up so we just you know it was just we didn't know where we were going so we decided we'll grab lunch here and in theory we've done eight something miles 8.5 eight and a half miles so this has been a big day so it's a bigger hike than we anticipated yeah but it's great i yeah. feel amazing i'm just like really the only thing that's Affecting me as the altitude, but like my legs feel great. Yeah. Mentally, I feel awesome. It's kind of hard to get full breaths at some points, but other than that, no complaints really. My back hurts a little bit, but yeah. thanks a lot, crampies. All right then. Well, we're gonna have some lunch and then we'll head down. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. All right, we made it back to Ruby, safe and sound in one piece. Time to uh, check with the statistician and see what uh, see what we did. 
All right. What's up, boss? Statistician. How'd we do? We got, uh, well, let's talk about what they said it was going to be first, uh -huh. because we always like to give all trails and hold them accountable here. Yeah. So they said it was going to be 13.2 miles and 3,300 feet of elevation gain. We ended up doing 15.66 miles, and I'd guess probably like closer to four on elevation gain. Yeah. So we'll see what the thing says once we connect back to the signal and it checks the elevation gain, but that was a big one. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, yeah. That's a wrap. <laughs> Coming up next time on Hiking My Feelings TV. So where are we at, Doug? We're at the post office in Bishop, California. Bishop, California? Yeah. We don't live here. Why are we at the post office <laughs> in Bishop, California? <laughs> well, we are doing a collaboration with Kula Cloth, and they got them in time to send us one for our trip but not in time for us to get it at home. So we're getting it here. Excellent. Yeah. All right, we'll go get it and we'll open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, cool.